this deodorant is very healthy and effective you know as a mom you will want to do something that will help your family help your kids so this is what i my kids are using now no paraben no aluminium that is available in other you know regular deodorants that you find everywhere at the store except for the natural ones so this can last you the whole day for me i use it for my exercise i am now with my kids in taekwondo i use it and it's very very effective it lasts me the whole day i don't smell this is good for workout this is good for every day going out and you know what it's very healthy for your skin it is proven that it takes 26 seconds for what you put on your skin to penetrate into your bloodstream and if you are considering healthy living trying to run away from toxins this is good for you and some people believe that deodorant it causes cancer and if you are running away from things that is harmful to the body why not try the organic ones so today i'm going to show you how to make these and it's very very simple and easy with a few ingredients put together you have organic natural healthy deodorant at home and it's effective as well it can last you the whole day and you know what the coolest part is that i am not afraid that i'm putting toxins on my body so let's make this deodorant so to start with we are going to use shea butter so i'm going to measure my shea butter one tablespoon of shea butter like this and i put it here because i don't have a double boiler so i'm gonna improvise so i have my one here so after that you take your coconut oil fractionated coconut oil because it's good for your pipes one tablespoon as well so before i put the third ingredient i put my pot on the stove so my third ingredient is arrowroot and keep in mind my ingredients are all organic so i'm gonna put four tablespoons of arrowroot this is the thickener arrowroot powder sorry so four tablespoons So keep in mind that the shea butter and the coconut they are liquid i mean they are oils and this will thicken it up and make it stay on your body so i'm gonna put this on my stove like this and give it a few minutes for it to melt so this is how it is it's melting very well when it's fully melted take it out so this is how it is right now i added like almost one tablespoon of arrowroot powder to thicken it more so i'm ready to take it out Make sure you allow the mixture to cool down for at least 5 minutes before you add other ingredients. So this is it and I will add in my vitamin E oil, you know. You are still adding more oil. For preservative. 
So one eight. Then I'll add in basil essential oil. It's proven to kill bacteria. So I'm adding like 10 to 15 drops. And also I added tea tree essential oil. Tea tree oil is effective for almost everything and it's very very healthy so i'm adding 10 to, to 12 drops i'm adding 10 to 12 drops of t3 essential oil so you can see why i added extra arrowroot powder so that it will thicken it up so after that i'm gonna turn it into into this container and put it in the refrigerator and this is what it will look like when you bring it out see very very effective and it doesn't stain your clothes and even if it does it's gonna come out it's arrowroot powder so I like this container because it has this cute top. So you don't have to have the container. That's why I use So I have these containers that I can give it to my kids to own it and after everything I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator so there you have it after it's frozen I'm gonna show you how it looks like I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator so let me bring out the other one that I have that I need this is one of it this is made with the yellow shea butter and this is made with the white shea butter so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you so much for watching these containers I got them from Amazon so you don't have to have the container you can just use something like this and look at how it is also keep in mind that this deodorant because it doesn't have toxins like aluminium or paraben you might start off using it twice because your body has been used to toxins for a long time it takes a while for it to come out and those toxins they mess up with our hormones and it affects our body it harms our body so this one as you're starting off you can use it for two times until when those toxins are finally out you start using it once and that will be good all right, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to make this for your family. It's healthy, no aluminum, no paraben, and you don't need baking soda to make it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.